Since I began working with the Liberian Chimpanzee Rescue and Protection, I've learned so much. But the best and biggest surprise was meeting the amazing Liberian women caretakers that you'll hear from in this episode. My baby's name is Bebe D. She loves eating cucumber. She loves to climb. And baby, yeah, this one name is Gigi, and this is Tulok. Gigi loves play. She loves to climb. Anyone she see, she will play with it. And this love Cyrilla. She loves to play. <laughs> when I was a child, I wanted to see the chimps taking away from the parents. I used to feel for them. I used to feel very bad. And I grew up around chimps. And then when I met Jen and Jimmy, then with this team, I started with them. I used to feel so bad when I see the chimps taken away from the parent level and rest in the team. I like to sleep with them. I like to stay the time. From the morning time, night time, I like to be very busy with them. But sometimes they need to be busy. Sometimes you have to go rest. You look tired. I work with the Richard research teams from the 80s when they used to carry the chains like mine on a baby one, I got babies. And I put it in the weed barrel carrying them to bleed them. I used to take the blood and then when they drain me, I used to feel so bad, I feel sorry for them. And then when they finish with them and I'm bringing them back, I pet them, I feed them at night. So now I won't go home soon, I will always spend most of my time with them. I got really love chimps. I used to feed for them. First, before the lap was closed down, when he was walking in, the babies then were all scattered. And I felt bad because the babies were not together. And then later on when the lab closed down and the body changed to the island, I used to feel bad. Because we were no longer closer to them. And only once in a while we used to go on the island to see them. Chenna and Jimmy send again, it makes a big difference. Because these babies, they put bar mattresses for them. This good place for them. They put them in their own bedroom. They buy a lot of mattresses. They buy bear spray. They buy cereal. They buy enough food for them. And they don't just leave there. They buy toys. They be really got toys. They got a lot of toys. Make them happy. They put rope on the tree. And what one of the things the babies like, they like to clean. So, Jen and Jimmy, what they can do, they buy a lot of rope. I think from the other house you can see it. They put the rope there for the little one to learn how to climb up on the tree and the babies love that. Yeah, and then we give them bottle. They suck from the bottle and they love the city life. I've never had a mom come this way to me. <laughs> I must be like really a baby whisperer, like a monkey. Yes, I think so. Hey girl.